I mean, the question is, is how is Texas going to fare in their first season in the SEC? Absolutely. All right. So Texas opens up against Colorado State. They're at home. That's one of these, what we like to call scheduled wins. And then they get right to it, dude. I mean, they travel to Michigan to take on the defending national champion Wolverines. This is going to be one of those must watch football games. You know what I mean? Texas made a, uh, obviously an awesome run last year. It's going to tell a lot about who both of these football teams are in that game right there. Because it'll tell you if Michigan's ready to keep winning, and it'll tell you if Texas is ready to take that next big step over a defending national champion, right? They got a few more scheduled wins. They got UTSA, LA Monroe. Then they go straight into their SEC schedule against Mississippi State, Oklahoma, Georgia. Getting Quinn Ewers back is the most important factor for this whole team point blank period they they have they, they obviously had some great wide receivers last year they lost from the nfl draft and adani mitchell and xavier worthy the guys were studs and the only thing that really cost them was some of their other players getting good playing time because they have some i mean they, they have they have some fantastic receivers that are in the program that didn't get playing time because you got nfl talent on the field all the time mm-hmm. so you know they are gonna have john Tay cook um he saw some limited action last season uh, they got Matthew Golden. He was an addition from the transfer portal. They got some good players. These are like five star, four or five star recruits coming in, you know, coming out of high school. So they're going to be able to reload on the receiving end. Um, they're going to be able to keep, you know, throwing the ball up the field, being aggressive like they were all season last year. This team's projected to win 10 games this year, 10 and yeah. a half games. Yeah. And it's definitely possible. I mean, they, they, they're going to, they got, they got a little bit of help in the scheduling, right? I mean, yeah, they got Georgia at home and they get some tough, they got some tough ones on the road, obviously Michigan, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas A&M to finish the season. So this, I mean, Steve Sarkeesian, he's just, he's just done a great job with this football team. You know, Mm -hmm. they, they, they looked almost unbeatable at times last year. Uh, You're getting your stud quarterback, you know, returning that always helps. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, when it comes to that, absolutely. I think, uh, I think they're going to, I think they're set up for success, man, based off of finishing it, you know, a top four team in, in the country last year, being able to make the CFP in the last year where it's only four teams you know definitely has your momentum going forward going to the sec i mean this you know t- this texas team is very similar to sec style type team. absolutely so i mean it's not like we were talking about previously about teams going into the big 10 i think this team is pretty much really set well for for that conference there yeah they were they were absolutely built to move into the sec absolutely i i, I agree there for sure and 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 i think them announcing it a little bit early you know what I mean? Two years ago or whatever, right. when, when the change is about to happen. Really helped them with recruiting. Helped them with recruiting because Absolutely. you want to go play in an SEC school, right? Yeah. I, I mean, that's that's the whole goal. It doesn't matter where you're at. Your goal is to end up in the SEC. If you can do it, you're going to take it. Yeah, I got them with 10 wins as well uh, next next year. Looking at, the, looking at the schedule, there are four teams that I think are going to be kind of struggles for them. Michigan, Oklahoma, Georgia, and Texas A&M. Those are the four games I'm looking at and being like, okay. They're going to lose a couple of these. Yeah. Yeah. Just a, just a tough schedule. And and the problem is, is when you play that many like really good football teams in a season, you just kind of get, you just kind of get ground down, right? Like you, yeah. you can't keep guys healthy through that many really tough, really physical football games. I'm excited for them. I think Texas has a, a great chance to compete. You know, they're lucky enough to get in in the first season where Alabama's, you know, maybe reeling a little bit, right? Maybe. So as, I mean, as a Texas fan, you love the fact that Nick Saban just left. Yeah. You know? Yep. You got a chance. I mean, obviously, Georgia's still who they are. It's going to be, it's going to be a good season to watch some SEC football. Yeah. So I've got Texas finishing third in the SEC. Okay. Behind Georgia and Alabama. That is what we call a tease. Be sure to tune in to our next week's way too early predictions on the SEC. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss that breakdown where I rank the rest of the SEC. Yeah. Uh, I will give you a little bit, though. I do have Texas finishing third and making and making the cfp excellent make sure you hit that subscribe button we're gonna be putting out videos on all of these big conference predictions you guys are gonna love them um so any other final thoughts what about texas where do you have them finishing i see them probably number four in the conference okay um i see them top five though yeah i mean and i do see them competing i think they'll be right in there in the running to potentially be playing in the sec championship though i agree I agree. They got a shot for sure. Yep. Um, we want to know what you think, folks. Let us know in the comments down below what you think as far as that goes. What do you feel that Texas is going to be able to put up in their first year in the SEC? Do you agree with us there? We think they're going to have 10 new wins. You know, let us know where you're at on that for sure. And if you're watching on YouTube on one of our short videos, make sure you know this is available audio only wherever you get your podcast. Always remember to hit that subscribe button. If you have not yet, go ahead and drop a like on this video. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out a video where we talk college football.